Hey guys, what's up? My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent and this is the Apple Watch Series 4. And today we're gonna to talk about the newly activated feature on the Apple Watch, which is the ECG sensor. So the first thing to take note of is that Apple goes out of their way to let you know what this can and cannot detect. This will not detect heart disease, it will not detect high blood pressure, it will not detect a heart attack. This is just detecting basic AFib and so make sure that you have that understanding going in knowing what this can and cannot be used for. So the ECG sensor is made up of two metal contact points on the watch. The first are the contact rings that sit on the bottom or back of the the device against your wrist. The other contact point is actually the crown where you'll place a finger and you'll establish an electrical connection that will flow through your body. So between your wrist all the way through your body out your finger on the other side and then you'll have an ECG reading. The reading typically takes about 30 seconds and the first few seconds as you're kind of moving your arms a little bit those won't really count and then after the reading you'll be greeted with one of two conclusions either that you have AFib or that you don't. Now after your reading all of that data will be synced to the app and you'll be able to review the actual graphs and even export it as a PDF that you would be able to give to your doctor for further review. Now while all of this may seem like a simplistic feature this is actually incredibly advanced especially this technology just being on your wrist and even though right now this is only being used to detect AFib there's possibilities where this could also be used as an extremely accurate heart rate variability uh, metric. So this obviously is going to be able to really precisely measure the timing between your heart rate as opposed to the optical heart rate sensor. And so there are other applications that we haven't possibly yet seen that could be used in conjunction with this uh, sensor. So the test results that you just got done seeing were under normal conditions. First, you know, the first thing in the morning I got up and just took the test. Uh, but going forward, I do wanna run some uh, tests to see uh, how the ECG sensor performs after I do some intense exercise or maybe after I've consumed a lot of caffeine to see if I get any different readings or any alerts based on uh, those activities. This is a pretty advanced feature on the Apple Watch and already uh, in the last 24 hours I've seen several videos and news reports of people uh, being able to detect that they do indeed have uh, AFib and have gone to their doctors and confirmed it. So uh, already this technology is potentially having some health benefits for individuals and maybe even saving lives. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this. Uh, I'll be sure to answer any questions that you might have and stay on the lookout for some additional content about the Apple Watch Series 4 coming soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent. We'll catch you next time.